Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the men's classic beanie with color. Uh, almost a year ago I released the ever popular men's classic beanie on my YouTube channel and I've been asked time and time again for instruction on how to add a little bit of color to your project. So that's what we're going to look at today. I will work the entire pattern in this video. This is a photo of the men's classic beanie with color here. I also have my two samples here, which I will pull back a little bit so you can see them. So this is one here without a brim. And then I have one here uh, that has a little bit of extra space on it to turn up so that you can have a brim. If you head on over to my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, you will see uh, more photos of the hat there along with the fine details and pictures of it being worn. The directed link for that is in the description of this video. So this hat is worked in rows and it's worked lengthwise and uh, at the top I have mine open here a little bit. It's worked with uh, a magic ring or a ring. So you're actually going to work in rows back and forth. It's worked flat and then up at the end uh, you do a little slip stitch into this ring and uh, it kind of brings it together and then you seam it and then you're done. It's a very simple method of working a hat. It is made with slip stitches and crochet stitches, a single crochets which makes it very stretchy but yet uh, keeps its shape. Uh, in this tutorial I'm also going to show you uh, my technique for changing color so you can either work the stripe down at the bottom of the hat as I have here or you can work it at any point in the length of your beanie. So thank you so much for joining me today for this tutorial. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Simply Soft uh, in gray and green for this tutorial and uh, also a six millimeter crochet hook. Information for both of these items can be found in the description of the video. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, let's grab our hooks and our yarn and we will learn how to crochet this men's classic beanie with a little bit of color. Today for our design we are going to work the beanie uh, without a brim, so the shorter version of this hat. And I should have mentioned at the beginning each one of these skeins of yarn has about 315 yards. You're probably only going to need about 200 yards of that uh, and significantly less, uh, maybe 30 or 40 yards of your secondary color. You will need two colors of yarn. So today for our beanie, my color A is going to be this green here. And we're going to start by either making a magic circle or you can chain eight and join at the beginning with a slip stitch to make your ring. I'm going to make my magic circle and to make my magic circle I simply, and there's many ways of doing it, I cross over my yarn, stick my fingers through kind of like I would for a slip knot and I'm going to grab the end that's attached to the ball of yarn and just pull it up like so. This is where I'm going to put my hook through. I'm going to keep the loop uh, here on my ring finger for the first couple of rows just to kind of keep it straight. So I put my hook through there and chain one. So that's just going to keep it secure. I'm holding my ring with my uh, middle finger there and my thumb and then I'm keeping my ring finger through the center just for the little bit to keep it from losing its place. So once you've done that, once you have your ring, however you would like to do it, you're going to start by chaining um, 41 with your color A for a hat without a brim. If you would like a longer hat with a brim, you're going to chain 47. So today I'm going to chain 41. Once you have your 41 chains, I'm just going to pull that out there. Once you have your 41 chains, 
You're then going to want to add a little bit of color down at the bottom. So you're going to drop that color A and pick up your color B and just pull it through. Okay, so you're all set to go. You have 41 in the green and now this is your chain, your first chain of the color A. Those ends you're going to weave in later so it will secure it then. You're then going to chain four and you'll chain four whether you're working with a brim or without and that's in your new color. So you'll have your 41 or 47 in your color A and then your four in your color B. You're then ready to start row two or row one sorry. So with row one you're beginning with your color B you're going to start by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. Now when I'm working this pattern I like to turn it over to these back bumps and work into the back bumps. So in my color A I need three single crochet stitches. So there's one and there's two. Now for my third one I'm going to want to switch to back to my color A. So to switch back to my color A in this third stitch I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over with that color B with my gray, drop the gray, pick up my color A which was just kind of left hanging loose there, place it on my hook and pull through. So now I'm all set to work with my color A again. So I have three stitches in my gray color B you're going to then continue down the chain now working in your color A all the way across. So you should have a total of three stitches in your color B and then at the end of this row you're going to have a total of uh, 41 without a brim or 47 with a brim single crochet stitches in your color A. So just continue down your chain and then meet me back here. Now here I am at the end of my row one of single crochet stitches. I have my three gray down here at the bottom and then 41 up to the top. Now I should uh, just make a couple of notes here if you would like to change the height of your hat. What you're going to do is simply change the length of this foundation chain. You can use any multiple of stitches just simply work to the length that you would like and then add uh, another inch of length uh, because when you work into it it does pull up a little bit. So you're going to want to add an extra length inch in that foundation chain and then work your row of single crochet. The same if you wanted your color stripe to not be at the end you can simply do using the same technique that I showed you there with that one insert your stripe anywhere along this chain and then go back to your uh, color A. You can do that as many times as you would like. So back to our first row, you've worked 41 or 47, you're all the way back up to your magic ring or to your ring. When you get to your ring you're going to slip stitch into the center of that ring. This slip stitch does not count as a stitch. Then chain one and turn your work. For row two we're going to slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. So remember your chain one does not count as a stitch nor does that slip stitch into the ring. So that's your second stitch there. You're going to skip that as well. So working in the first single crochet stitch into your back loop only which when you look at the top of your stitch you see this nice V. Your back loop only is the horizontal bar that's furthest away from you. So under that back loop only you're going to slip stitch 
in each stitch all the way across. So you're working in your color A, back loop only, slip stitch in each stitch all the way down to the stitch uh, or down to your color B to the stitch before your color B is going to begin. So just keep working at that and then meet me back here. Now in your row two, when you come to the stitch prior to your last one in your color A, so prior to the one where you want to change your color to your color B, you're going to insert your hook into that next stitch, but for the slip stitch, simply drop your color A there and pick up your color B place it on your hook and pull through as a slip stitch. Okay, I'll show you that one more time. So you've come to the stitch, your final stitch that would be worked in your color A, but you're going to drop your color A and because it's a slip stitch you're going to insert your hook, pick up your color B, place it on the hook and pull it through as your slip stitch. You can then pull that color A a little bit tighter if you need to. Uh, it's up to you. You're then going to continue on with your color B working your slip stitches in the back loop only. When you get to the end, chain one and turn your work. You're now ready to start row three. For row three, you've chained one that does not count as a stitch. We're going to slip stitch using our color B first in each of the first uh, two stitches here. So there's one and two and we want to switch to our color A. So insert your hook, drop your color B, place your color A on your hook and pull through as a slip stitch. You're then going to simply continue on making sure that you're working into the next stitch and it can be a little bit tight. So working into the next stitch with your color A, back loop only, slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. You are going to want to keep these nice and loose. If it gets too tight, it does make it a challenge to work your slip stitches. On mine, where I find it gets tightest is down in that color change. So just make sure that you're keeping it nice and loose. Slip stitch, continue in the back loop only all the way across. At the end of your round three, you're going to be back up here with your loop, slip stitch into the center of that loop. It does not count as a stitch. Chain one and turn your work. We're now going to repeat that last row working in the opposite direction. So skip your chain. You're not going to work in your chain one. Do not work into that slip stitch that went into the ring that is not a stitch so your first one is right here if it helps at the end of each uh, row mark your final stitch with a stitch marker I might help to keep it uh, yeah keep it uh, on your mind there to know which one is your first one so then you're going to continue working in the back loop only slip stitch uh, all the way across. Again, keep these slip stitches nice and loose. It really makes it easy, easier to work them in the back loop only. So you're going to go all the way across to the stitch prior to your color B. Switch to your color B and work your final three slip stitches in your color B.
So here at the uh, end of my row four, I'm just switching over to my color B here and finishing it all the way across. At the end, chain one and turn your work. And we are now ready to start row five. For row five, we're going to continue working in our back loop only, but we're going to work single crochets this time. So into the back loop only, into the first two stitches, single crochet in your color B. In your third stitch, you're going to want to change back to your color A. To change back to your color A, you insert your hook using the color B, yarn over and draw up a loop. Two loops on your hook, drop your color B, pick up your color A, place it on your hook and pull through. You're then going to continue with your color A, working in the back loops only, single crochet all the way across. You can pull that color B a little bit tighter if you need to. So continue that all the way across. When you get up to the top, you're going to slip stitch back into your ring, chain one, and turn your work. At the end of your row five, slip stitch into your ring, chain one, and turn your work. You're now going to, in the back loop only, slip stitch into each single crochet stitch all the way across, just as you did uh, previously. So this is for your row six. At the end, switch to your color B, work your final three stitches, and turn your work. Uh, I'm at the end of my row six here, switching over to my color B, and working my final three stitches, and then you're going to chain one and turn your work. For your row seven, we're going to slip stitch once again. So slip stitch in those first three stitches for your color B. Switch to your color A and then slip stitch again in the back loop only and each stitch all the way across to your ring then slip stitch into that center ring, chain one and turn your work. That brings you to the end of your row seven. For row eight, you are going to slip stitch into each stitch all the way across and then switch to your color B, complete those final three stitches, and then chain one and turn your work. So you're slip stitching in the back loop only all the way across. If you look at the one side, you should see that ribbing look coming out there. Just finishing off my row eight here. Chain one and turn my work. So if you take a look at your hat, this is what you're going to have so far. You see that ribbing coming out and uh, it should be looking good. Your ring is up here at the top. 
Now for the rest of the pattern, you are going to repeat rows five through to eight. So starting with a single crochet row, you're going to repeat that until the work from the beginning measures approximately 18 inches. It can be more or less depending on how much stretch your material has, uh, but it should fit nicely around your head. Uh, once you were done. So you want to work to about 18 inches and uh, and then at that point meet me back here and I will show you how we are going to seam that together and then finish off our hat. Once you have worked your 18 inches this is what your hat is going to look like. You'll have this nice ribbing effect, it'll be nice and stretchy You'll have this long part down here at the bottom and then up at the top you have your ring. If you have used a magic ring you can now at this point tighten it as much as you would like uh, and uh, get ready to sew the top here once we work the seam. What you are going to do is you will have finished off on a row 8 with uh, your color B down here at the bottom and we're going to want to seam it together. So what you will do is there's no real right or wrong side to this hat, but you're going to take it and uh, put your right side facing in, whatever side you choose. Then using your color B, we're going to slip stitch through both thicknesses, working in the back loops only of both sides. So there's one and then the back loop only of the other side. I made it a little bit tight there and you're going to slip stitch. So slip stitch across when you get to the point where you need to change your color just as you did before then you can change your color. So there here and I'm going to pull my color A through so I have my yarn out here on the top side. There we go. And then once you've switched to your new color, just continue on back loops only of both sides, slip stitch all the way across. When you come up to your top ring, you're still going to slip stitch into that ring and then you can fasten off leaving a long tail. So at the top of your hat, slip stitch into your ring and then fasten off leaving a fairly long tail. Now you should have the wrong side of your hat facing out. If not, you can switch it. And then what you're going to do is just make sure you've slipped uh, trimmed any other ends that you may have and then you can go ahead and weave those in. Now up at the top you're going to want to take your yarn needle and thread it with the long tail of your color A that was left there and you're now going to sew the top of your hat closed. Now to sew to the top of my hat closed I simply did a quick kind of stitch just across the top. I'll weave in that end after. Got it stuck here. There we go. So you're just going to do a quick stitch across the top of your hat 
where the stitches are tight there up at the top. You may have trouble as I am sewing it through. That's okay. Just keep going. Pull your stitches fairly tight and you want to go all the way across. At the end, I do work a knot just to keep it secure before weaving in my ends. And this is on the inside. Make sure the knot is discreet. And then weave the needle through. Before trimming it off. Once you have your other ends woven in, you can then turn your hat right side out. And you will have finished your men's classic beanie with a little bit of color. So thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I invite you to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed it and check out some of my other video tutorials there. Lots of hat patterns, blankets, scarves, and uh, as well as stitch tutorials there for you too to take a look at. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, until next time, happy crocheting. Bye! Mm -hmm.